여러분들은 안녕하십니까? 오셔서 정말 감사합니다. 아, 우리 레이언스님 덕분에 해연사에 올수 있어서 영광입니다. 고맙습니다. Um, so why are we doing Kido? Many sincere Buddhists believe that Kido is for the Buddha or Bodhisattva. Westerners believe that Kido is many times for their own mind. If you say it's for the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, it's a mistake. If we do it for ourselves, for our own mind, that's also a mistake. When we clean our clothes, wash our bodies, and tidy up our rooms, we don't do that for ourselves or for heavens. We do it for what? If it's not for ourselves and not for the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, then for what? We have to recognize our relationship to each other. We do Kido single-mindedly, very sincerely, and that helps the person right next to me. It helps your family. It helps your environment. It helps your country. And it helps this whole world. How? For that, we have to understand how Kido works in the mind. You chant Kwan Sam Bosa. Then your mind doesn't think. Also, you do not focus on your own emotions at that time. You don't have a sense of I or me at that time. So the first job, the first function of the Kido is to take away this I. If you have any kind of wanting mind, desire mind, or any kind of idea about the Kido, it will be very limited. Many people do Kido for their son or daughter getting into university and that's okay but you can do this for a much much bigger reason it's like your car your car imagine that you can go to the market to do shopping but the same car could fly to europe or you can go to the next planet or to the next galaxy or even further your mind is the same you can use your mind for your own purposes and that's also not bad you can use it for your own family also not bad. But you can use it for much, much bigger purposes and then you have less and less I in it. So when you do this Kido 100%, you don't have this I am doing Kido mind. We say that just doing it. So when you do that, then your Kido goes infinite. So you may ask, if I don't focus on my son or daughter, if I don't focus on my family, if I don't focus on my purpose, why I do this Kido, then how will I get what I want? Now I give you an example. Most of you are wives and mothers here. You are at home and your child returns from school. And as your child enters the door and says, hello, you already understand, you already perceive what kind of day your child had. What kind of event your children had at school? Same as with your husband. Your husband comes home, puts down his briefcase. Immediately you perceive your husband is in good mood, bad mood. Good feeling, bad feeling. You already understand that. Yeah. Imagine that space around you works in the same way. Your mind has all kinds of information. And all that goes out. That means you have good feeling, bad feeling. You're concerned about your children's entry into, into university. Something in your consciousness goes far out. By the time you begin your Kido, you, the universe already understands what you need. The universe is not a person. It's not like a god. But it's not just some matter or nothing or something disconnected from us. So by the time you begin your Kido, the universe already understands what you need, but it's not in a brain. It's not somebody's thinking. It's in space all around you. Only you know it. But everything and everybody is affected by it. We call that faith. When you believe this, you have faith. And I'm not asking you to believe this 100%, but I'm asking you to keep your eyes open. Keep your physical eyes open and keep your mind's eyes open. And if you keep your mind's eyes open, you see that you don't stop at the border of the body. One eye glance at another person is enough to have some kind of exchange. 
energy exchange, information exchange, one connection through the eyes. How did that happen? Maybe that person is 50 meters away, 10 meters away, 5 meters away. How did that happen? How did we connect? Some people can connect thousands of kilometers away. How did they do that? The answer is originally our, our minds are not just in the skull. What we think of as self is not just this body. So when we know that, you know that your kido goes far and wide and it connects all beings through Sokamoni Puchanim energy or Kwansen Bosal energy or Kaum Sonjung energy, whichever kido you do. Because what you have in your mind is very important. That defines your relationship with the world and with other people. So then you do Sokamoni Kido or Kwan Sambosa Kido. Your mind becomes Kwan Sambosa. Your message into space becomes Kwan Sambosa. Your relationship to other people becomes Kwan Sambosa. This changes your karma. It's very important. It changes your karma. Why? Usually, our minds think very short term. Short term in time and short term in space. And our minds are loaded, full of dualistic thinking. Good and bad, like and dislike, high and low, past, present, future. All of that. That means our minds are broken into 10,000 phenomena. This mangsang is our mind's noise. This noise takes away the signal, the clear intention. So when you do Kido, you take away this noise, you take away this illusion. When you do that, your mind becomes very clear. And then, only one signal, Kwan Sen Bosa. And then your mind becomes compassion and helping other people. That's why this signal is important. Like here, you have signal. Yeah. But if you're only thinking, 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 10,000 ways, feeling, 10,000 feelings, then much, much noise. Much, much noise. No focus. Cannot do that. So now you understand why I told you don't have any idea about the Kido. Don't have any wanting mind in your Kido. Because it increases the noise. It increases your illusions. The universe already understands what you need. So when you begin your Kido, you need to say it at the beginning of the 100 days or 49 days or 7 days. No matter how long your kido is, you have to say it once. So you say at the very beginning of the kido, I do this for my son or daughter to get into university. Or I do this for this temple. Or I do this for Sunim's well-being. So one time, you direct it. And then you just do it and not think about it. And that is like the airplane. The pilot decides, we will go to Beijing from Seoul. And when they take off, they have the coordinates, then land in Beijing. Not so much thinking about it anymore. One time only. But if you check your Kido every day, was my Kido good today? Did I get closer to what I wanted? Did I get what I intended? If you check your Kido, you break your Kido. So many people believe that Kido is a business between heaven and earth. Then they lose everything. And they wonder why. Why do they lose everything? And you already understand the answer. They have no trust. If you trust the universe, if you trust the space around you, if you trust cause and effect, then you trust that the universe already understands what you need. Then there's no need for business. There's no need for a written contract between you and Buddha. In the West, yeah. many people believe, well, I make a good contract with God, and God will give me what I want because I keep the contract. There's one problem with this. The universe does not operate on a contractual basis. The universe operates on a cause and effect basis. If you trust that, if you perceive that, then you can believe in that. Then your Kido does not become business. In other words, you don't do this for material profit and you don't do this for yourself. It's really important. When the sun shines, does it make profit? When the sea has the waves coming ashore, does it think about efficiency? When you build a house on your land, does the earth, mother earth, charge you a tax? 
When you breathe the air, do you have to give back a percentage? Think about that. So, look at nature. Nature operates very spontaneously. So, if a place naturally needs some money, some donation for its purposes, that appears and also disappears. Appears into the work. If you have an idea to possess, to control, that's a problem. So very important to keep this natural flow of energy. Become one with that flow. Then your keto functions very correctly. So I wish all of you in this room follow the leadership and wonderful energy of Dayonsuni. You are very lucky to have her here. So please practice together. Do all the Kido together, and then your energy becomes completely free from I, my, me. Then all of your mind become one, becomes very strong and very clear. If you have a thread, this thread is very weak, you can just tear it apart. But if you put three of these threads together and you weave them, and then you put three of these together and you weave them again, and then even more together and you make a rope out of these threads thousands of threads in one rope it's so strong that even the biggest ship in this harbor can be pulled with it yeah. this is how strong your mind can be if you all become one so when you keep Kwansan Bosal Kido, Kwansan Bosal Mind all together then all your mind become one so please keep this wonderful together action mind and I hope to see you sometime in the near future, either this year or next year or any other time. Thank you so much for your attention.